October 16, 2022, 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint Gerard Magella. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus. The Amalekites then came and attacked Israel at Trephidim. Moses said to Joshua, Pick some men, and tomorrow morning go out and engage Amalek. I, for my part, shall take my stand on the hilltop with the staff of God in my hand. Joshua did as Moses had told him and went out to engage Amalek, while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. As long as Moses kept his arms raised, Israel had the advantage. When he let his arms fall, the advantage went to Amalek. But Moses' arms grew heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him. And on this he sat, with Aaron and her supporting his arms on each side. Thus his arms remained unwavering till sunset. And Joshua defeated Amalek, putting their people to the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains, whence shall help come to me. My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip, May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is our guardian. The Lord is our shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You must keep to what you have been taught and know to be true. Remember who your teachers were and how ever since you were a child you have known the Holy Scriptures. From this you can learn the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and useful for refuting error for guiding people's lives and teaching them to be upright. This is how someone who is dedicated to God becomes fully equipped and ready for any good work. Before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to be judge of the living and the dead, I charge you in the name of his appearing and of his kingdom. Proclaim the message and welcome or unwelcome insist on it. Refute falsehood, correct error, give encouragement, but do all with patience and with care to instruct. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, discerning reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then he told them in parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for anyone. In the same town, there was also a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. 
For a long time he refused, but at last he said to himself, even though I have neither fear of God nor respect for any human person, I must give this widow her just rights since she keeps pestering me or she will come and slap me in the face. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say. Now, will not God see justice done to his elect if they keep calling to him day and night even though he still delays to help them? I promise you he will see justice done to them and done speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. Today's readings emphasize the need for persistent prayer and proclamation. We find Moses lifting his hands up in prayer for the Israelites when they were fighting the battle against Amalekites. As long as his hands were raised, the Israelites under the leadership of Joshua won the battle. But whenever he let his arms fall, the Amalekites won. When Moses was physically tired with the help of Aaron and Hur, his arms remained lifted up before God for God's people. Moses was physically tired but spiritually strong. In our life, we are continually engaged in a battle against the evil one. We need to bend our knees and lift our hands in prayer so that we can win the battle. The Gospel passage too tells us about a woman persistent in prayer and as a result, she gets justice. In the second reading, St. Paul insists in relentless proclamation of the Word of God. He tells Timothy, preach the Word, be urgent, in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, and exhort, be unfailing in patience and in teaching. In our lives, if we can pay attention to these two things, we can go a long way in growing in holiness. Persistent prayer and a relentless proclamation.